FIFA may be the dominant force in football gaming today, but there was a time when Pro Evolution Soccer led the way, 2005 to be precise. PES 5 might just be one of the best football games of all time, with its fluid gameplay, thoughtful attacking and precise defending. Also on the game was the most overpowered team in sports game history, Inter Milan. Wins over mates using Inter would usually end up in an argument or somebody storming home because they were simply just way too good. So today we're going to look at that Inter Milan dream team and where they are now. Francesco Toldo, 90 rated, he often spent a lot of his career in the shadow of both Gianluca Pagliuca and Gigi Buffon, however there was no doubt that he was a Don on PES 5, with a 90 overall rating, literally a brick wall in goal. After retiring the shot stopper is now an advisor for Inter and Italy's under 21 goalkeeper coach. Javier Zanetti, another 90 rated. El Tractor's abilities were perfectly transferred over to Peso 5. Another 90 rated player with some scary physical and attacking stats. The 94 stamina along with the 87 top speed and 84 acceleration meant he could bomb up and down that wing all day. Zanetti finally hung up his boots after almost two decades and more than 800 games of Inter back in 2014 and had his number four shirt retired in the process. These days he's working as Inter's vice president. Ivan Cordoba, 90 rated. Possibly one of the best defenders on the game and yet another 90 rated player. 99 jumping, 86 heading meant putting crosses in against him was pretty much useless. As was trying to outpace him because he had 96 acceleration and 90 top speed. He was a delight to use but a nightmare to play against. The Colombian retired back in 2012 after winning 5 Scudettos of Inter before spending 2 years as the team's manager. Walter Samuel 97 rated. Konami blessed Samuel with a terrifying 1000 yard death stare and an incredible rating of 97 overall. If you got past Cordoba, there was absolutely no chance that you would get anywhere near Samuel without losing the ball. The second highest rate defender on the game, just behind Puyol, he was incredible. He left Anuratsuri to join FC Baal in 2012 before retiring in 2014. Samuel is now studying to his coaching license and no doubt will make a brilliant, if not terrifying, manager. Cristiano Zanetti, 75 rated. There was something of the Phil Neville about Cristiano Zanetti, minus the shocking frosted tips. He certainly wasn't a natural left back having spent years in defensive midfield, but he did a job. However, on PES 5, he wasn't that great, just rated 75, and usually got subbed off for uh, someone like Solari, Figo, Kylian Zares, or Andy van der Meijer, just to slot in at left back and do marauding runs and not really care much about defending. Swapping in for Figo was my tactic, and I pushed my mates over and over again. Sorry Cristiano, but... Who wouldn't want Figo marauding from left wing back? Since retiring, he's flirted with a bit of management, most recently with Serie D club US Marseille 1919 in 2018. One Sebastian Veron, 93 rated. Veron's Premier League exploits had plenty believing he was a busted flush, but Konami knew better, gifting the Argentine with godlike ball skills and something called tactical dribble, a special ability that allowed him to hold off opposing players while waiting for the perfect pass. That 97 long passing meant he could effortlessly ping the ball up front. Since retiring, the little witch has been working for free for Estudentes as their sporting director. Esteban Cambiasso, 88 rated. It still blows my mind that he played for Leicester City, considering that he was one of the best defensive midfielders in the world for a period of time. The team's water carrier and another 90 rated player. Cambiasso's work wasn't pretty, but it helped you win the ball back so you could get the ball forward as soon as possible. He now holds a UEFA A badge so he could pick up a job in Serie B or C and we can't wait to see him managing somewhere. Dejan Stankovic, 84 rated. The unsung hero of Inter's front line, Stankovic's incredible career and contribution for the club often gets overlooked. Ted's fans knew better though. He was an incredibly balanced player both in real life and on the game and possessed a thunder bastard that would score from 40 yards out at will. Currently the manager of Red Star Belgrade, he won the Serbian league in his first season with the club by a whopping 14 points. Alvaro Rakoba, 95 rated. The same rating as Ronaldo, the fat one, Vieira and Totti. Ronaldo was a real treat to watch, slinking in and out of defenders and scoring ridiculously free kicks whenever he really wanted to. On Pez, he was rapid, could shoot from pretty much anywhere and could pass around corners thanks to that 97 swerve. He was just so, so good. 
Rakova came out of retirement to play a bit of beach football for Uruguay in 2014, and I don't really know what he's up to these days, presumably making false passports so he can get into Italy. Other Femi Martins, 82 rated. He might have only been an 82, but oh wow, he was brilliant. 99 top speed, 99 acceleration, he was basically Pez's version of Seydou Dumbia. The sweat very much was real. Sprint with Martins into the box to sign up to shoot, because you probably missed with him, then pass to someone in a better position. Simply running with him was great fun. Crazy that he's still only 35, playing in the Chinese league for Shanghai Shenhu. Adriano, 98 rated. The one that you've all been waiting for. Second to only Steven Gerrard in rating, but arguably the big Brazilian was the real king of PES 5. That 99 shot power was absolutely brutal, and if you were anywhere from 30 yards in over, it meant that you were scoring a goal and the net was getting broken. He was almost impossible to get off the ball thanks to his strength and aggression. Sadly though, his career never really lived up to his in-game or real-life potential. From being sent to fat camps to try and help him lose some weight, to getting numerous injuries pretty much for every club that he played for, to having to be cleared of drug trafficking. He should have been Ronaldo's heir apparent, but it just wasn't meant to be. These days he works as an ambassador for Adidas Brazil. In fact, earlier this year, he had to prove to people that he wasn't dead thanks to an Instagram post. To be fair, going through his Instagram is pretty good. Uh, you haven't seen Joy until you've seen Adriano in bed with a huge slice of cake. Fair play to him. And that was into starting 11 on PES 5. Which classic team would you like to see us do next? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to like and share this video and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I've been Graham from Planet Football, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.